Harvey Minhas bought this nearly $100,000 2021 Yukon Denali back in October. But after accepting a new job offer in Toronto where driving this large SUV could be a tight fit, he wanted to sell. When a potential buyer came and checked out my vehicle, he informed me that there was a lien on the vehicle. But this wasn't a typical financing lien. Minhas paid off the SUV. This was a second lien from the dealer for one dollar, meaning he couldn't sell. I'm talking about $100,000, right? So um, it's frustrating for sure. He checked the contract and in the fine print found a section saying that the customer agrees to not sell, transfer ownership or export the vehicle from Canada for 12 months. Minhas didn't understand and went back to the dealer demanding an explanation. They said that, you know, even if you do sell it, it, it might end up in the hands of, uh, of an exporter. And so we don't want this vehicle crossing the border. I have not heard of this happening before, so it's, it's, it's a new um, methodology. President of the Motor Dealers Association of Alberta says he has seen similar clauses, but they were typically for extremely high-end cars. Wood says manufacturers likely influenced any dealer who adds the lien. He says the plan is understandable given the current auto market. It's really done to make sure that we can pr protect the pricing levels in Canada so that, you know, they just don't, the uh, Americans don't come to Canada to purchase the vehicle. A stipulation Minha says has left him in the lurch, perhaps for the next eight months until he can legally sell. Now he wants others to be aware. Because everyone's financial situation or situation in general can change at any time. And mine did. And I don't want anyone else to go through the same thing I did. Chris Chacon, Global News.